Tubs, it doesn't get much more exciting than this weekend, a cup semi-final, 80 minutes away from Wembley and a trip to York Knights. Exciting, yeah, it's so rightly, as you so rightly say, it's uh, one of them games that you want to play in. Uh, you know, as your coach, you'd love to play in it, so uh, it's an exciting time. You know, we had a, uh, a run out last week against Wakefield and, and came a bit unstuck, give us a bit of a, a slap in the chops, which, which is good. Uh, you know, loads of positive came out of that game. Uh, we became a little bit unstuck, so back on the horse as, as the saying goes. And uh, to be in a semi-final with a chance of playing at Wembley is, is something that both teams will be relishing. And uh, I know that York have uh, had a, a tough start, uh, but they've got the quality of players, there's no doubt about them. And, and in Andrew Henderson, they've got a good coach, so uh, they'll be nothing to, nothing to lose. Desperate, and uh, teams like that are always one of them that you need to keep an eye on. You just talked there about York and obviously Wakefield for us on Friday, first defeat of the season. What will you be wanting the lads to try and do? What have you kind of learned from that game on Friday to take into the game at York? It's just execution, you know, we created enough opportunities um, uh, to, to rack up a few tries and that, and we, we just didn't take them, uh, which is the, the focal point, focus point for this week. Um, defensively, a couple of areas to fix up, which we know. Uh, but not too much, you know. I thought it was a cracking game. The, the Wakefield game was a fantastic game. You know, right, you know, the first 35 minutes it could have gone either way. We had a couple of chances, they got a couple of chances, but there was nothing in it. And then they scored a couple of uh, tries later on in the first half, which good teams do. And you know, they are a good team, you know, there's no doubt about that. Well coached, uh, some quality players. So, uh, you know, we just refocus back on ourselves. Uh, pick out the positives from um, from Friday night against Wakefield. Look at some of the areas we need to just tweak a little bit, and uh, and then go get them. We all know the prize of winning on Sunday a trip to Wembley. Something obviously the club know well. But how will you make sure that the players don't look too far ahead and obviously just stick with the game plan? Oh, look, the, the, you know, there's enough quality and there's enough uh, experienced players in this group to to make sure they, uh, they realise what they've got to do and uh, you know, it's point, no point getting to a semi-final and not getting to the final, you know, so uh, you know, we uh, we know what, how tough it's going to be, uh, semi-finals are, they, it doesn't matter what's happening in the league, semi-finals about one game, one game only, uh, so uh, if you go through, you're in the final, if not, you're out, so uh, you know, they, they'll use that as a motivation for them, nothing counts for anything else, it's not league points, so uh, you know we're going to have to be good, and uh, you know we're going to have to get after them, make sure we do what we do best, and let's see if they can answer the questions that we're going to throw at them. And you have just touched upon obviously York, what you know about them so far, but we've already played them this season, the Challenge Cup. You expecting a similar kind of game or something completely different? No, I think that they're a little bit low on confidence, so I think there's danger when when people are you know are desperate and. Yeah, they're going to be desperate. They, you know, they, they got bowled off at half time last week, which is not something they use because they've been very, very good. So uh, it's not about them, and it never has, it never will be. Uh, you know, it's about us and, and us. You know, can we bounce back from a, a bit of a, a disappointing uh, Friday night and, and get straight back into it? And it can't come fast enough. Look, we could have played on on, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. Uh, the boys are itching. Uh, there's still a good vibe around the place. We looked at the game last night, picked out the things, focused ourselves, and we've got two sessions to get it all right and uh, and get get after the, um, the the semi-final on uh, on Sunday. And you never want to give anything away, especially with the game a couple of days away. But how are the squad shaping up ahead of the game on Sunday? Oh, we're fully fit. We're fully fit. Everybody's come through. They're all desperate. They were all desperate to play last week, you know. And uh, we changed it up a little bit for different reasons. Did it work? Didn't it work? Well, that stands with us. Uh, but it's certainly, again, uh, everybody's trained last night, everybody will be trained again tonight and, and obviously the final prep on, on Friday night. So, uh, you know, everybody's fit and, and to be, what, 13 or 14 games in and, and have a fully fit uh, squad is, is something um, which is very pleasing. And the fans, they've been instrumental all season. You're probably sick of me asking you this question, but just how much of a part can they play on Sunday? Well, I thought they were great on Friday night. I thought it was great. Great crowd, a great atmosphere, 
and it needs to be the same on Sunday and I know there's a, a fun bus going again and I think people will just get there. It's a big game for us in the club, you know, we was the, uh, the first ever, the inaugural uh, winners of this competition in 2019. Uh, no other team's gone back to back, uh, gone back there and done it, so can we be the first team to get back there? Then we need the fans, we need you with us. Get on the fun bus, get in your cars, get on the train, just get there.